So uh, first I just want to start up and say that there's not really like a way of organizing and taking action. There's so many things you can do. Uh, I'm going to give my tips basically. Um, so if you want to um, campaign on uh, free trade issues, I think the first thing you want to think about is try to narrow down to like a focus area that you want to like uh, target. So free trade in itself is quite broad. So um, for example, focusing on TTIP um, may be a good idea because it's been renegotiated right now. You've got politicians there that you can target, um, and it's also like something that you know that you 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 that is more concrete for people to learn about. So try first to just like like find out what exactly you want to focus on. Secondly, you need to get a few people together. It's hard to stand like on your own like completely. So it doesn't have to be a big group. You can get like two, three people, and then you've got a group. You've got something going. Meet up and chat about like what you want to do, and you know who's doing a little bit of what, and and then from there you can start taking your first action. So third tips then would be take a first action, and I really recommend you to do something quite easy and tangible. Uh, not aiming for like a master event um, with like 100 people and amazing speakers, etc. Just do something simple. You, what, you, what you really want to do is an action where you can get a few people um, that to come and just learn about TTIP or any other freight treaty um, issue, uh, French, uh, but also to get just like recruit some new members. So I started a group uh, myself, I was literally on my own got a few people to join, and then we did a first action. The first action was really simple. We just got a, a film that is on YouTube uh, on TTIP called The Trouble with TTIP. We screened that. We had a film screening event, um, and yeah, a few people came along. Some got interested and involved in the campaign, and then we got a little bit of a bigger base. So we only had to do was basically like um, get a venue, promote the event, learn a little bit about TTIP potentially so we can have a discussion afterwards, and then you get started. So you get like that kind of first action happening. And from there, you can obviously like do many other things. And then, um, fourth, link up with others. Um, TTIP and other again free trade issues. They really like like have an impact on so many different aspects of our lives. And you can build strength by linking up with other groups that are uh, involved in these issues, or people that just generally have an interest in, for example, like public health issues or environment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So see if you guys around where you are. If you are based at university, for example, there are going to be societies that are um, involved in some way or shape or form in issues that probably are tied to TTIP. And that gives you a base not only to link up with them, but like potentially organize events or actions with them and um, reach out to people that are concerned about you know, our environment, for example, because TTIP has a massive impact on that. So yeah, that's my fourth tips. And then number five, try and have fun. Um, don't just, I mean, campaigning is really, really interesting and I love doing it, but it's really important to also um, do some socials. Uh, within the group, you kind of like, that enables you to build a group, but also just like have some fun, you know, do add that kind of like uh, element of chilling out, relaxing, um, you know, have a few beers, go out for some dinner or do something else. But um, it's important, I think, to have that kind of mix of social, but also, you know, obviously targeting like campaigning and being out there and doing stuff. 